Hi everyone and welcome back to Behind the Eye of Odin. I'm your host Eric and with me today is one of my students, Wesley. Uh, today we're going to be covering the, uh, uh, we had a suggestion from, and I'm reading my notes, Chaos 6384 uh, sent me a suggestion. I, I apparently at some point stated the idea of timelines within rune readings. How do you get a timeline? How do you kind of understand? Uh, how long something's going to take. <clears throat> well, the first thing I want to talk about is specific runes will actually give you a timeline. Okay? Uh, Yetta is usually a year. Now, if that doesn't scream timeline to you, then that's, uh, that, that's a personal issue, and I'd probably look into meditating on it a little bit. Uh, Dagaz is the rune for a day. So, it's not going to mean a day or a year, but uh, it's very likely that that's, that's going to say to you that it's going to take a few days, or it's going to happen relatively soon, or it is going to take a while. Now, in my personal opinion and in my personal experience, what happens is uh, there are stipulations to your progress. Uh, that's what in the Algies reading that I was explaining in one of my first videos on this channel um, There's a personal challenge. Well moving on to the next part of your life is not going to happen until you've overcome that personal challenge However long that takes is really up to you uh, This is my opinion now Wesley you you give readings as well and uh, I've had Wesley give me more than a couple of readings and he's actually quite good at it uh, how do you usually find yourself interpreting into in, into understandable time? Uh, how do you how do you usually find a timeline in a reading? Just the way it the way it feels, basically the way mm -hmm. the energy is moving through the room mm -hmm. is how I get the timeline. Okay. Like if I feel like it's hard to explain because I see energy too. Okay. And if I see white energy, okay. it, it's usually happened a long time ago in the past. Okay. And if I see uh, like purples and blues, that means it'll in the future position. It means it'll happen eventually. Just maybe not soon. Not soon. A few years, maybe. A few years. Okay. And just all different colors and the feel of the room is what I get get most is. Okay. If it's if it's a bad feeling, I can usually tell by the way it feels like a bad bad energy. Mm -hmm. It happened a long time ago, or in the future it will happen soon. Okay. So there are the, yeah, like I was saying with Degas and and Yetta and whatnot. Are there any runes specifically, whether they be in past position, present position, uh, even root? The root position in the Algi's reading, do they usually, are, are there anything? In, in the past position, Rado usually means, it, and it happens a while back, but not too too far, maybe a year, two years. Okay. And then is there anything that usually means, are, are there any runes specifically that you think mean this future or this outcome or change in, in perspective? is uh, eminent. It's going to happen within, you know, understandable, maybe the next couple of days, couple of weeks. Moonjo. Moonjo. In the future position, Moonjo gives me a great timeline of two, three days. Oh, really? Okay. So that's specific. Now, personally, I don't really have any, any experience with, you know, this is going to happen soon, soon. Uh, it's, it's very rare that that, that word ever even comes out of my mouth during a reading. Um, the only reason that uh, I refuse to commit to a timeline is because the future is not set in stone. And even if it were, stones can be broken. Now, when I, when I say that, basically what I mean is I usually refuse to commit to a time because I don't know if the person I'm reading for is willing to commit to their journey. Yeah, that, and that's the problem, is if, if they're not willing to follow the rune reading and do what it says to do, mm -hmm. then it's not going to happen, and that's just plain and simple. Yeah. So basically, it's one of those things that if you're comfortable with, with giving people a timeline that you can see and 
as as we've explained, uh, at least I've hope I'm hoping that we've explained, it really is just a matter of personal understanding, as opposed to hard and fast rules about how long something is going to take. Um, do you have anything else that you'd like to add on timelines and rune readings? Just if you trust the person and if you know that the person is willing to go off and do what the rune reading says to do, then give them a timeline if you feel that it's an accurate timeline. Just if you trust the person. I mean, some people won't do what a rune reading says and you got to just judge that by your own. It's very true. But with, uh, with that in mind, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and uh, if you have any, like, uh, Chaos 3, uh, excuse me, Chaos 6384, any suggestions for videos, anything you'd like to see me or us or any of, the, any of us that will be working on Behind the Eye of Odin, if you'd like to see us do any videos, cover any specific top topics, feel free to send me a personal message on my YouTube channel or comment on uh, the main page. But uh, again, thank you all for watching. And of course, until next time, Odin be with you. Love me now, your spirit will fly. Is the song.